So I photographed a campaign for Snoop Dogg's wine, Cali Red, by the brand 19 Crimes. <laughs> Stand and deliver juice in my car. Ooh, that's a killer in Pimini last year. That's a thriller, so I you told her one. Sim Sola up, Sim Simmer. If you know the dabba the dibba, well, like your frame, I'm chipper. I didn't like it, so I differ. Tell them I will don't shake. In this new series on the channel, I'm going to be looking at some of my commercial work, some of the projects that I've done over the last few years. We're going to start off, we're going to kick this off with a recent campaign that I shot this year in 2022 for Snoop Dogg's wine, Cali Red. So as a professional photographer, seldom do you get an opportunity where you can shoot a range of photography that demonstrates a range of your skills for a brand or a project that you are really passionate about. It allowed me to experiment with portraiture. It allowed me to, you know, experiment with live music photography, two of my favorite things to do, two of my favorite genres of photography. And it allowed me to do it within the context of a genre of music and a community that I'm really passionate about. The campaign centered around a group of musicians from Manchester, where I live, where I have lived since 2017 coming together to record a cypher, a grime cypher, a hip hop cypher, fueled by Cali Red, the, the wine. So if you've followed my channel, you've followed my work for a little while, then you'll know that, that I mostly started my career photographing hip hop shows and artists around London, where I'm from, where I, I lived for the first 18 years of my life. In more recent years, however, I've picked up live music photography again, but it's mostly working in the dance scene at venues like Warehouse Project, Printworks, um, and other dance venues around the UK. And my portraiture works, you know, it spans genres. It's still, I still do get to work with hip hop artists and grime artists, but it isn't confined to those genres like it used to be. And so this project in particular felt like a nice homage and a nice kind of coming together of the beginning of my career and kind of where it's at now and a nice kind of celebration of the things that I really genuinely do enjoy and I'd love I'd love to make more work like this and be involved in more projects like this one. I will link the full cipher, the full campaign in the description. Um, it was directed by Ellis Mead and produced by the wonderful team at GIST, who I will link all in the description. But um, yeah, let's have a look at some of the photos from this shoot. So first up, the live music work. So I shot the cipher on a mixture of digital using my Sony a7 III and a Sigma Canon lens. Um, it was the 35 millimeter for Canon, but I used it with an MC11 adapter. I will link that in the description. And then I also shot it on 35 millimeter film using the Canon um, EOS 500. I can't remember what film stock it was, maybe Portra 400. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. And I used a 50 millimeter nifty 50 on that camera. So the vibe for the film work was to kind of capture the authenticity of a cipher, the energy that you kind of get. So I was experimenting a lot with the graininess of the film and the imperfection of, of film. Um, because, you know, when you're shooting events, often you're so in the moment, you're so in the event as such, especially when it comes to things like ciphers, that you're not really messing about with settings. So you get, you end up with a lot of photos that, you know, technically aren't perfect, but it's more about kind of communicating a vibe and a feeling. And then the digital shots were more to capture what was happening, you know, for some crisper imagery um, and imagery that could be used, you know, more reliably in, in the campaign material, especially when capturing details such as the tumblers of wine and things like that, the more branded elements. And then moving on to portraits, again, shot a mixture of digital and film. When it comes to film, I was shooting this on the Mamiya RZ67 with 110 millimeter 2.8 lens. And I believe that this was Portrait 400 pushed to 1600. Big shout out to Come Through Lab who develop and scanned all the film in this video. Um, I'll link them in the description. They're Manchester based. Film Lab, absolutely amazing. Their scans are always really good quality. And customer service is probably the best that I've ever had in a film lab. In terms of the lighting setup, all of the portraits were shot with the this massive overhead um, softbox, like really big over overhead softbox with like continuous like video light. Unfortunately, a lot of the film in terms of the portraits was still underexposed despite pushing it to 1600. Shooting with the RZ67, especially in low light conditions and in 
atmospheres and situations like this where you can't really take that long to set up a shot and especially when you're doing group shots and people are moving and people are talking it can be kind of tricky to work with a camera like the RZ in that scenario and um, but I was really happy with some of these shots anyway this portrait in particular is one of my favorite portraits that I took from the shoot and probably one of my favorite portraits that I've taken in a really long time like I said earlier, if you are interested in watching the cipher in full, and I really recommend that you do, I will link it in the description alongside all of the amazing artists featured. But a big thank you to everyone who's tuned in on this one. Hopefully you like the format of this video. Um, if there are other kind of shoots that you see me doing, if you've seen me post on Instagram or something that you'd like a little bit of a a look into and then let me know in the comments and i'm sure we can sort something out a big thank you to everyone who tuned in for this one and i will see you in the next 